Over the past couple of years, Nigeria has made great strides in implementing significant reforms to address critical issues that have perpetuated a cycle of slow economic growth, high poverty rates, limited job creation, and persistent instability. The nation is actively addressing these issues through a network of infrastructure projects that span the entire federal territory. Infrastructure development is an important component of Nigeria's strategy for boosting economic growth, attracting investment, and improving overall stability. These projects aim to lay the groundwork for long-term development by addressing critical areas such as transportation, energy, and communication networks, thereby providing the framework for economic diversification and increased global competitiveness. Nigeria's economic trajectory is based on a multifaceted strategy that includes trade, monetary, exchange rate, and fiscal policies to restore budgetary space and maintain macroeconomic stability. Anticipated growth of 3.7% in 2024 and 4.1% in 2025 reflects positive momentum, while inflation is expected to fall by 2024 to 2025 with continued improvement. The country's complexity is evident in its consistent 5 to 6% annual growth, which made Nigeria Africa's largest economy in 2014, with a GDP of $569 billion. Ongoing developments, particularly in Nigeria's thriving construction industry, help to strengthen the country's economy and ensure the success of major mega projects. Fifteen. Apapa Awaran Shoki Expressway. The Apapa Awaran Shoki Expressway, which runs from Apapa to Somolu via Sorular and Mushin, is an important six lane thoroughfare with parallel one way service roads. It connects major expressways such as the Lagos Batagri Expressway and Ikorodu Road and passes through strategic locations such as Tinken Island and the Port of Lagos. Laymath Abiyarit stops contribute to more efficient public transportation. To address traffic congestion, President Muhammadu Buhari allocated 73 billion naira in November 2018 for the expressway's reconstruction or renovation. The contract, awarded to Ag Dango Construction Company Limited under the tax credit scheme, is intended to improve traffic flow in Apapa. 14. The Azuro Edo Power Plant Project The Azuro Edo Power Station a natural gas-powered facility in Benin City, in Nigeria, currently generates 461 megawatts. It is part of a three-phase development and aims to have a combined cycle gas plant capacity of 1,500 megawatts. The plant, located in Edo State, northeast of Benin City, cost $900 million to build and was funded by 15 institutions from nine different countries. Azuro Power Holdings owns the company, and Actis Capital is the majority equity investor. Other minority investors include Africa 50, Energy Group, Amaya Capital, and the Edo State Government. The plant, built by Siemens AG, Siemens Nigeria Limited, and Julius Berger Nigeria Limited, was completed ahead of schedule in April 2018, setting a safety record of nearly 5 million man hours with no lost time injuries. 13. The Eco Tower Project The Oxygen Eco Tower, a luxurious 75-story residential tower, resembles a vertical constellation of villas, with 161 units featuring private gardens and pools in four distinct typologies. The design, inspired by a growing flower, combines elegance, well-being, and technology. Shops, restaurants, a library, kindergarten, spa, tennis courts, and running tracks all help to create a high-quality living environment. The tower promotes sustainability by using natural energy, geothermal systems, rainwater collection, and photovoltaic panels to generate its own electricity. The project is a collaboration between Progetto CMR Idea, Techament, Permastilisa Group, Simole, and Pia Associati, with support from a number of Italian companies. 12. Julius Berger Tower Julius Berger built a 15-story mixed-use skyscraper on Lagos, Victoria Island, with a gross floor area of 32,300 square meters. 
The high-rise building has apartments, offices, meeting rooms, a canteen, a rooftop helicopter landing pad, and a multi-story parking structure. The foundation, which features a 1.8-meter thick slab, is a combined pile raft foundation with a maximum depth of 54 meters. Due to the high groundwater level, a second bore pile wall and jet grouting stopper were installed. The tower's curtain-tight glass facade, LED silver certification, and sustainable construction materials demonstrate its dedication to environmental stewardship. The Lagos Blue Line, a critical component of the light rail system, stretches 27 kilometers from Marina to Okokomeko, with 13 stops along the Batagri Road right-of-way. The innovative approach to power supply, which includes an independent plant, ensures reliability even during frequent power outages. Elevated platforms at Marina and National Theater stations feature distinctive architecture, promoting a unique and environmentally friendly commuting experience. The Blue Line contributes to traffic relief and environmental benefits by providing an efficient and comfortable transit alternative, reducing both the number of vehicles on the road and harmful emissions. Ten, Second Niger Bridge Project. The Second Niger Bridge 2NB project, which spans 46.9 kilometers and connects Asaba, Delta State, and Anitsha. An Amber State is a critical initiative aimed at reducing traffic on the existing Niger Bridge while also promoting economic activity. Phase 1, awarded to Julius Berger Nigeria Polk in August 2018, includes the construction of a 1.6 km bridge over the River Niger, 10.3 km of approach roads, two secondary bridges, and a cloverleaf interchange on the Onisha Owori Road, with 99% completion by Q3 2023. Phase 2A, which includes a 17.5 km link bend in Asaba, began in March 2022 and is expected to last 37 months, with plans for a temporary access road to expedite bridge commissioning. 9. Dangote Refinery Project On May 22, 2023, the Dangote Refinery in Lekki, Nigeria, officially opened as the world's largest single-train refinery, processing approximately 650,000 barrels of crude oil per day. The Dangote Group owned the refinery, which required an investment of more than $19 billion. Originally scheduled for 2016, the project experienced delays, location changes, and cost revisions before finally being completed in 2023. Despite previous postponements, the refinery's power plant was expected to be completed in January 2023, with full inauguration planned for the end of the first quarter. Diesel, kerosene, and gasoline production will begin in October 2023. 8. Third Mainland Bridge Project The third mainland bridge in Lagos, Nigeria is the longest of the three bridges that connect Lagos Island to the mainland, measuring approximately 11.8 kilometers. Julius Berger Nigeria PLC built the bridge, which serves as an important commuter route. The bridge, which began in 1980 and was completed in 1990, was subject to periodic repairs, including a six-month closure announced in July 2020 for bearing replacement and worn-out expansion joints. It is still an iconic structure, with stunning views of the Lagos Lagoon, the University of Lagos Waterfront, and Makoko, a waterfront shanty town. 7. Abuja Light Rail System Project The Abuja Light Rail, a groundbreaking infrastructure project costing $823 million, has been dormant for several years, raising concerns. The project, originally designed to span 290 kilometers in six stages, was awarded a $824 million contract to address transportation challenges in the federal capital territory and surrounding areas. Lot 1, which spans 42.5 kilometers, includes two lines and 12 stations that connect Abuja city center to the Nambi Azikiu International Airport. However, the overall project has been neglected, and government plans for its revival are unclear, according to a Bloomberg report. 
6. Lagos Ibadan Expressway The Lagos Ibadan Expressway, which spans 127.6 kilometers, is a critical link between Lagos and Ibadan. It is Nigeria's oldest highway and a major interstate route, carrying over 250,000 vehicles per day. It opened in August 1978. In July 2013, then-President Goodluck Jonathan approved its restoration for better connectivity. Reynolds Construction Company Limited and Julius Berger Nigeria were awarded the 167 billion Nera Rehabilitation Project, which aimed to reduce travel time. 5. Lagos Port On January 23, 2023, Nigeria opened a $1 billion deep seaport in Lagos, built by China, to relieve congestion and position Nigeria as an African transshipment hub. President Muhammadu Buhari prioritized infrastructure for economic development. Lekki Deep Sea Port, which is owned 75% by China Harbor Engineering Company and Talaram and 25% by the Nigerian Ports Authority, is expected to generate more than 200,000 jobs. China, a major lender to Nigeria, has financed a variety of projects, including railways, roads, and power plants. 4. Hyatt Regency Akija Project the upcoming Hyatt Regency, Ikeja will be located on Ladoke Akintola Road in Ikeja GRA. Other upscale hotels in this affluent neighborhood include the Marriott Hotel, the Radisson Blue Akija Hotel, and the Sheraton Hotel. The project, which began in Q1 2021, is scheduled to finish in Q2 2024 with 142 rooms, including a renovated upscale hotel and convention center. SOZIDA and IE owns the hotel, which is located in Dushani's Komsomolsky Park and consists of a low-rise section for amenities and a 12-story high-rise for guest rooms. Completed in 2008, the office and residential center has a multi-layer facade that adds to its architectural appeal. 3. Ogjoda IPB Link Bridge Project the Lagos state government has announced that the OPB Mend Ojota Link Bridge was completed by the end of June 2023. The project involves board piling, a foundation technique, and work has begun in Maryland, Lagos. The 3.9-kilometer bridge aims to directly connect OPB, Mend, Maryland, and Ojota to Ikoroda Road, reducing traffic congestion on Mobilaji Bank Anthony Way and other nearby routes. Special Advisor Aramide Adioy emphasized the project's innovative features, which include provisions for both infrastructure and recreational spaces, with the goal of providing value and relief to motorists. 2. Purple Lekki Project Purple Capital completed Purple Lekki, an eight-story mixed-use complex on Freedom Way, as part of Lekki Phase 1. The facility, which has a gross leasable area of 12,000 square meters, provides commerce, retail, hospitality, and entertainment services. The ground floor features an open-plan retail area, while the first floor contains amusement zones such as pool bars, cinemas, games, and food courts. The second floor is dedicated to office space, complete with conference rooms and high-speed internet. Purple Lecky has 175 nano apartments on the 4th through 7th floors, and the 3rd floor has up to 300 parking bays. 1. 4th Mainland Bridge Project The Lagos state government is constructing the 4th Mainland Bridge, a 38-kilometer-long structure that spans the Lagos Lagoon. The bridge, which connects Itamaga in Ikorodu to Lagos Island via Langbasa, Leki, and Baikiku, Ikorodu, is intended to be Africa's second longest bridge. Three toll plazas, nine interchanges, a 4.5 kilometer lagoon bridge, and an environmentally friendly setting are among the planned features. Though originally scheduled for 2019, construction had not begun as of the recording of this video. The project, estimated to cost 844 billion naira in the 2017 budget, is expected to be completed in four years once construction begins.
That brings us to the end of this video. Please drop your comments on which project you think has the most impact to the Nigerian economy, and the best comment will be pinned.